Hey there, I'm Kunal and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to dive more into geometry with area and volume formulas. Now, there are going to be a lot of formulas you need to know for this lesson, but there's no need to worry because pretty much everything you need to know is going to be on your SAT math formula sheet. Now, I wanted to start off with talking about area formulas. Area simply just refers to the amount of space that a two-dimensional shape takes up. So for two-dimensional shapes, I want you to think of things that are flat. So those are things like squares, rectangles, circles, triangles, parallelograms, things like that. And the first area you need to know is the area of a square, which is simply the square's length times its width. And then moving on, we have the area of a rectangle, which squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. But either way, the length times its width is going to be the area. Now let's move on to the triangle. Now the area of a triangle is going to be one half times the triangle's base times its height. And if you don't know what base is, it's kind of what I have in the picture here. Finally, we have the area of the circle, which is pi r squared. If you wanna learn more about circle formulas and what kinds of SAT math problems you can get with circles, check out the video we've made about it on our channel. All right, so that's it for the two-dimensional shapes. So let's move on to the 3D or three-dimensional shapes. Now, the amount of space a three-dimensional shape takes up is known as the shape's volume. And once again, volume formulas are a little bit more complicated, but they're going to be on your SAT formula sheet. Or if they're not there, the problem will probably tell you the formula if it's not on the sheet. So let's start off with rectangular prisms, whose volume is length times width times height. And then we have the cylinder, whose volume is pi r squared times its height. And then we have spheres. Wow, a mouthful. But spheres have a volume of 4 thirds pi r cubed. And then we have cones with a volume of 1 third pi r squared times height. And then finally, we have the square pyramid whose volume is one third length times width times height. Now, for the most part, whenever you see a volume SAT question, all you have to do is plug in the given numbers into the formula that is on your formula sheet. But sometimes it gets a little bit more complicated than just plugging in numbers. Sometimes they're going to be given the volume and be told to solve for something like the radius or a side length or something like that. So let's take a quick look at this example. A can of soup is in the shape of a cylinder. If the volume of the can is 64 pi units and the height is 4 units, what is the diameter of the can? So let's first try drawing out the cylinder and write down our equation. And then our next step is to plug in what we know. So we know we have 64 pi is going to be equal to pi r squared times 4. So Let's divide by 4 pi on both sides to try to solve for the radius. So doing the algebra, we'll end up finding out the radius is equal to 4 units. But you have to be careful because the problem is asking for the diameter, which is just double the size of the radius. So the answer to this question is going to be 8 units. And that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you learned something new and are now ready to kill it on the SAT math section. For more practice problems and access to a 24-7 online study tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and the ACTs created by Judy Learning, an award-winning educational tech company that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a one-week free trial when you use the link in the description. Until next time, and good luck studying.